All right, uh, let's look at the uh, section 8.3, uh, problem number 31. All right, so we want to find the centroid of a region bounded by these two curves uh, from um, x equals 0 to uh, x equals pi over 4. All right, so let's uh, draw a picture here. All right, here is the y axis. All right, and here is the x axis. All right, here's the origin. And uh, let's see, sine curve um, is going to start from the origin. And it's going to look kind of like that. And then a cosine function, it's going to start from 1. And then it's going to look kind of like that. All right. Then I would say this is uh, pi over 2 right here. And um, this is going to be pi over 4 right there and then we can kind of quickly check that um, you know sine and the cosine have the same value when uh, x equals pi over 4. Alright so we are talking about uh, this uh, region alright so this is the region from 0 to pi over 4 alright so this is the region we're talking about and we want to find its centroid alright so uh, let's do that all right here, I'm going to assume that, uh, you know, the, the density rho is going to be 1. All right, so, uh, uh, we, you know, um, the centroid is exactly the same as the um, uh, um, center of mass. And also, um, you know, the um, uh, total mass is really the same thing as the area. All right, but anyway... All right, so first uh, we need to find the area. So area is uh, very easy to find, right? So area A is going to be, uh, it's going from 0 to pi over 4, all right? And the top curve is the uh, cosine curve. So you have a cosine of x minus uh, sine of x, all right? Then uh, with respect to x, so antiderivative cosine is a sine of x and a minus antiderivative sine is a cosine a negative cosine so double negative so it's a positive cosine of x then uh, you are going from uh, 0 to pi over 4 All right so if you plug in pi over 4 sine of pi over 4 is 1 over uh, square root of 2 and a cosine of pi over 4 is um, uh, 1 over uh, square root of 2 as well so 1 over square root of 2 all right minus plug in 0 sine of 0 is 0 and a cosine of 0 is 1 all right so this is going to be 2 square root of 2 uh, or 2 over square root of 2 the same thing as actually square root of 2 so it's a square root of 2 uh, minus 1 right so that will be the uh, area of that region right so uh, let's compute the um, the moments uh, with respect to um, uh, y-axis first right so this is going to be just the uh, integral from uh, 0 to to pi over 4, right? Since uh, density we assume to be 1, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, then it seems going to be uh, x times cosine of x minus sine of x, right? And then with respect to x. All right, then we just need to use the integration by parts. So I'll uh, take the derivative of the first, you get 1. Take the antiderivative that we just did. So it's a sine of x plus uh, cosine of x. All right, so this is going to be, so we multiply uh, diagonally first. So that's uh, x times uh, sine of x plus cosine of x. And then we are going from 0 to pi over 4. All right, then we multiply sideways, so it's going to be minus 
uh, integral from 0 to pi over 4 and the sine of x plus cosine of x right with respect to x right all right then we plug in uh, pi over 4 so it's a pi over 4 then sine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2 cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2 and sum is 2 over square root of 2 which is square root of 2 so I'm gonna put the uh, square root of 2 there uh, minus if you plug in 0 it's 0 so I'm not gonna write anything down all right then here Antiderivative of sine of x is negative cosine of x, and antiderivative of cosine is going to be a positive sine of x. All right? Then you're going from zero to pi over four. All right? So this is going to be um, pi over four square root of two minus. All right? If you plug in here, so you have uh, one a negative one over square root of two plus um, another uh, 1 over square root of 2. Right, minus, if you plug in 0, it's going to be, uh, let's see, cosine of uh, 0 is 1, so it's negative 1, and a sine of 0 is 0, right? So uh, we got, um, let's see, I'm going to just rewrite this guy as the uh, square bracket, right? So it looks like uh, we can cancel uh, those guys. And it's going to be plus 1, so it's minus 1. So it's going to be um, a, a pi uh, square root of 2 over 4 uh, minus 1. All right? So we got that. And we can also write, write it as, um, you know, pi square root of 2 uh, minus 4 over 4 by just taking the common denominator. Right, so that's that. And then uh, we want to find, uh, you know, moments with respect to the uh, x-axis as well. So let's find that. So m sub x is going to be equal to, right? So this is going to be 1 half, right, integral, uh, 0 to pi over 4. All right, remember that the top guy squared, so top guy is a cosine. So you have a cosine squared of x minus the bottom, bottom guy squared. So it's a sine squared of x, right? And a dx, right? Then you have a 1 half, right? So this is actually, using the uh, trig identity, it's a cosine of 2x. So if you take the antiderivative of that, you're going to get the sine of 2x over 2. Then you're going from 0 to pi over 4. Right? So this is going to be, I, I'm going to just to put together 2 and the 2 together. So you're going to have a 1 quarter. Right? Then you plug in uh, pi over 4. So you have a sine of uh, pi over 2 because 2 times pi over, uh, pi over 4. The so sine of pi over 2 is actually 1 minus a uh, sine of zero is zero, all right? So we get uh, one quarter, all right? So we got that. And then uh, all you have to do is we can find uh, x bar, all right? x bar is equal to, all right, uh, the moment with respect to y, which we found that to be uh, pi square root of two minus four, over 4 divided by the area, which is the same as is same as mass, right? It's a square root of 2 uh, minus 1, right? Then, uh, let's see, uh, and uh, a y bar is going to be, all right, the moment with respect to x-axis, so it's going to be 1 quarter divided by uh, square root of 2 um, minus 1. All right, so what you get is going to be, let's, uh, let's simplify a bit. So this guy, we can probably write it as uh, pi square root of 2 minus 4 over 
4 times square root of 2 minus 1. All right, then this guy is just going to be 1 over 4 times square root of 2 minus 1. All right, so that's the, those are the coordinates of the centroid. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.